Welcome to Anglesey Abbey. It's a garden divided into formal spaces of really top-end horticulture, surrounded by some more natural spaces of wildflower meadows and woodlands. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the bits of the garden that are looking their best at this time of the year. This is Jubilee Avenue. This is my favourite bit of the garden. I really like the, the formal avenues that we've got here and I really like the change in colour we're going to see really soon as they turn to brilliant yellow. My favourite time of year is autumn. The light's really good, the shadows, the rays of sunlight coming through the trees and the changing colours. This is the Dahlia border. This attracts a lot of visitors to come and see our display. So this bit of the garden was designed by Major Vernon Daniels with Lord Fairhaven. The sweeping curve is in place just so you can't see the other end and it leads you through the space. Um, we've copied last year's planting plan this year, so we've done the same colour palette as, it, um, as the dahlias go through the border. Um, we're going from red at this end down to the yellows and whites at the other end. We look after the dahlias by regularly deadheading them. We're going to try and make sure they're flowering and looking good as long as possible. We would love to have more time in here um, to keep them tidy and looking their best, um, but it does attract a lot of visitors who are really pleased to come and see them and take their pictures. This is the weird garden. I don't know why it's called the weird garden, but it's got lots of lovely hellebores that come out and we've got this beach hedging. So it does feel very enclosed and sort of tunnel cave-like, which I quite like. We're going into the herbaceous border now. So this area is coming to the end of its season and Amy, one of our garden team, is in here doing the clear up end of the season. Amy, can you tell us what you're doing today? Okay, uh, so I'm in the herbaceous border and I'm taking out all the stakes um, and then I'm going to cut it back for, and put it to bed for winter. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that all the plants have got their own space so they've not mixed up together and making sure that everything that should be there is there and getting rid of the self-seeded stuff. The gardens aren't just miraculously beautiful. It takes a lot of time and a lot of people to do this. This planting scheme is something that Major Vernon Daniel and Lord Fairhaven would have put in place and has been maintained ever since. We've got a really unique type of miniature red leaf dahlia in here and legend has it that Lord Fairhaven went to a garden centre and bought the entire stock of this particular variety. Madame Stappers is our miniature red one and Ella Britton is our yellow one. This, this late summer sun has really brought on the red flowers of the dahlias. So you're seeing the garden at its best. We're now heading through the woodland path on our way to Pilgrim's Lawn. Here we should see some of the autumn colour as it just starts to come out. One good thing about our one-way route we've installed is people are visiting these less visited spots. The circle of trees around the island in the middle are the Persian ironwoods and they're the ones that are going to go really vibrant with the autumn colour this year. We've also got a liquid amber just here which is really famous for being a species of tree which will really set off with a real blaze of colour. This is an area of the garden we've got planted up with the Cyclum and Hedrofolia. Beautiful natural looking drifts. At the end of the year we're hoping to collect a lot of the seeds up, plant up and propagate our own to enhance the display for future years. As you walk through here this time of year, there's a really beautiful, strong, sweet fragrance coming through. Some people describe it a little, a little bit like Parma Violets, um, but it's definitely a sweet perfume. So that's only going to last as long as the flowers do, unfortunately, so by November they'll be gone. Now we go really behind the scenes. This is our nursery where we grow all the dahlias at the start of the year. We also grow a few extras in the background which are taken for cut flowers and put around the property as well to brighten the place up. We have managed to propagate some plants this year for growing in the garden and we're really hoping to push on next year to do much more propagation in this space. By growing our own stock on site, either by seed collection or by propagating from cuttings, we can keep much better control of stopping the spread of pests and diseases coming into the garden. So this is where we make our compost. The left hand bay is full of all our wood chip. At the moment this is our fresh stuff. So the right hand bay is then full of stuff which is almost ready to be used onto the beds. It's really important for us to make our own compost on site. This reduces our expense and it's all about the best way for us to process our green waste on site. Thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed your tour around today. Your continued support helps me and my team look after this special space.